night, we are having our fundraiser. This year we have chosen to have a gala. Uh, we have um, award-winning actor Wes Studi present. He's going to be our um, special guest speaker. And then we also have a fashion show. Moreau Home is a nonprofit, so we do not charge for any of our services. Uh, we provide a home for Native American children that are in out-of-home placement as a result of abuse and neglect. And they can stay there until they live there until they turn 18. And when they turn 18, then they can move over to the transition program. And that program helps them learn to live independently and to be able to transition successfully to adulthood. We had uh, people that purchase sponsorships and then we have people that purchase individual tickets. We also have a silent auction and we have some really nice things on the silent auction like a week in Hawaii. So we have some really nice things on the silent auction. And the fashion show, that is just part of our draw, you know, to, um, to get people to come. And a lot of people have come just because their kids are modeling or a lot of people have come to see West Studi. Uh, my name is Wes Studi. I'm here at the fundraiser for uh, Murrow Home uh, for uh, Indian children. It's a school or a home that I went to back in the uh, 1950s uh, when I was five years old. And so that's why I'm here helping with the fundraiser for, it for uh, this year. I'm going to share a few memories that I have of uh, having lived at the home. Well, I, I think it's a, a good cause for Indian kids that don't have any other place to go. That, that's a simply, it's a, a, needed, uh, uh, a needed service that uh, the home provides, and it's, I, th I think it has many alumni. People have gone through that, uh, that home for many years, and it still exists because it serves a purpose. My name is Ray Wakachi. I am here at the Merle Indian Home Gala here at River Spirit in Tulsa. This is a meaningful event for me as I'm a CASA advocate, a sworn officer of the court, representing children in circumstances of misfortune or of their home life. And sometimes they are removed and sent to homes as this, and I'm their voice. It's very meaningful to me to help support the native youth and our kids to give them a hand up that they may not have. Not a handout, but a hand up in life for education, for a different outcome of their future than that may not have been afforded. Oh, there is lots of silent auction items over there. I have bid on two items. <laughs> Hopefully I win I know, or everything, but um, some very great artists over there, which also gives, you know, that itself, I know the kids that's in these homes, it's meaningful to them, but they're also seeing native artists, native designs, like this fashion show tonight. Great talent. Well, that's inspiring the children that are in those homes as well and giving them hope or inspiring them to do something as well. Beadwork, fashion in the clothing, you know, whatever that may look like, that's also inspiring them for their future, but it is great for all of our native artists to showcase.